blink. So Your hair's a little lighter than we usually see it, but not as blonde as you were. No, 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 because, you know, if that hair gets blonde, I get dangerous. I don't know. Something happens to me. I transform. It's like a Dr. Jekyll and Mrs. Hyde thing. You know, I want to step out and be a little frisky. What was it like working opposite of, of John? It was great. Yeah. Yeah, and we, all the time I worked with him, uh, he was John, you know, yeah. and, uh, and then one day he put on his his Edna, and that was, you know, everybody took five minutes and absorbed that, but then it was really just John. Well, Mrs. Turnblad, I'd know whose mother you were anywhere. Really? Hello, Amber. Hello, Tracy. Ma. This is Amber and Mrs. Von Tussle. Mrs. Von Tussle is the station's manager. Oh, the station manager. Oh, it was so nice you let her on that show. <laughs> Tracy certainly has redefined our standards. That's for sure. <laughs> let me guess. Brand new dress. Oh, yes. Well, you'll stop traffic. <laughs> she might be the most hateful character to date. It was interesting because I, I committed to do the project and then um, and then all of a sudden it sort of sunk in that I was playing a racist. And that really, I, I sort of took pause and I started to have second thoughts and, and I got very nervous about that. Did Adam really help you in that, in that process? He did. Yeah. He did because in the beginning, you know, it was, it was, we both talked about and agreed that um, we needed to find different levels of meanness. Yeah. and because it's boring just to sort of be really vicious in every scene. So we honestly would sort of, you know, you know, on a scale of one to 10, okay, well, how mean am I today? And I was, in the beginning, always looking for ways to temper it and to kind of take the edge off and, and, and play against that. And he would have to sort of encourage me to kind of push the envelope. And then toward the end of the movie, he was like, okay, I think maybe you've gone a little too far. This isn't probably anything new for you. You've done so much stage work in the past. I don't think people really know that you've done so much work on Broadway. And so what was it like for you to, to take your experience from stage and bring it to film? Well, it's great to do that. I, you know, when I was a kid, that's all I did, musicals. And uh, I've done a couple of musical movies and some videos. Uh, but, you know, the chance, you know, and especially, uh, you know, at my age, to be able to be in a musical is great. What was the scene for you with the, the I Know Where I've Been? What was that like for you? I love the song. I mean, I really love the song, and the song says everything that it needs to, that I needed to express, that I needed to, to motivate me for the scene. Um, and we're marching, and we're trying to make things change, and, and I always had to remember that people actually did this so that I could do what I'm doing in real life right now. So uh, it was a moment to, to, to recognize that. Hairspray. This is America. You gotta think big to be big. Big ain't the problem in this family, Wilbur.